As consumer trends change, demand for items that require rare earth elements continues to rise. But that industry has been dominated by China, sparking concern from officials to lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Here to discuss the threat further is the president of Geomega Resources, Carol Mugerman. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Stephanie. We know China continues to be criticized over many global issues from the coronavirus pandemic to intellectual property theft, but rare earth elements is also an issue that has sparked concern among congressional lawmakers. But before we get to that, tell us what are these rare earth elements used for? So rare earth elements are a group of 15 elements used in many different applications, specifically high tech. Uh, but the most important application for them is permanent magnets. And those permanent magnets go into our most common consumer electronics, including the tiny little headphones that we wear, uh, cell phones, uh, but as well wind turbines, electric vehicles. Uh, that's a very important application. But of course, there are a lot of defense applications. How does the U.S. reduce its dependence on China and retake control of the rare earth element supply chain? So today, U.S. is already producing uh, rare earth elements, but the problem is it's all going to China. It goes to China and, um, and it's really getting refined there. And as it's getting refined, uh, it's made into magnets there. And really what uh, we need to hear, and the U.S. has really started uh, taking steps towards this, is with the most recent uh, proposal uh, by Senator Ted Cruz, is to try and subsidize the purchases of those processed materials uh, when they are produced in North America, when they are produced in the US. And that's really a, right now looking like the most important and the best step forward to t try and take that control. And we know that's exactly what China does uh, when they subsidize local suppliers, local producers, when they incentivize them and uh, there are so many discounts for them. Uh, and that's something that's missing here right now. And going back a little bit, you mentioned some of the products that these rare earth elements are used for, as you said, headphones, cell phones, even lasers, magnets, as you mentioned, steel. And as you mentioned, Senator Ted Cruz proposed legislation called the Onshoring Rare Earths Act to end China's control over the industry and provide tax incentives for buying American mined rare earths and battery minerals and metals. How much will this affect trade with China? Well, we believe that as the U.S. government starts providing those subsidies, it's really going to help American companies to focus on buying local. Uh, once they are not dependent only on one supply, I think we'll start seeing more and more companies prioritizing buying here are all the companies at the end of the day are thinking dollars and cents. And for them, that's very important. If they see that buying local is costing them basically less and they're spending less money on that, so it, it makes sense that they will start buying it locally. Uh, I think that's, uh, that's where we will see companies uh, put the infrastructure to do the processing in North America. Uh, I think U.S., uh, had that in the past and uh, is trying to bring it back, but it's just so hard because the economics at the end of the day are always against them. But with this uh, act, uh, uh, the SHORE Act, uh, there is a chance that finally uh, we will see that the, um, the economics are going to be favorable for those American uh, co companies and the in interest would be more to buy local. It'll be interesting to see how that affects products here in the U.S. Again, Carol Mugerman, the CEO and president of Geomega Resources, thank you so much again. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.